Be Me, B15, 2009, Loved Call of Duty 4 so much, Loved All Gillied Up so much, Favorite Level, I would often reenact levels in my yard with imaginary guns and stuff. I was also abnormally tall for 15, this is important, like 6'2". Heard senior prom was coming up and since I was a sophomore I couldn't go. Girl across the street was having people over for pictures. Now at proms what happens is that when you go to take photos, people park their cars bumper to bumper. Reminded me of all gillied up when Macmillan and Price crawl under the cars. This gives me an idea dot jpeg. From what I learned from Stephanie, the girl across the street, they were going to go drinking and shit in the nature reserve after prom, maybe have some sex. Figure I might spy on them and pretend one is Zakhaev and shoot him. Borrow my friend's ghillie suit. Wait until prom. When everyone's taking photos, I put on the ghillie suit. It was a little dark by this time, 7 o'clock, and I had cover. Ah, it's a bloody convention out there. When they leave, crawl out and stay low, I say as I see the crowd. I wait for one of the dads to move. Hold. He moves. Okay, go. And so I ran, exactly as Macmillan does, while even making the sounds of the music from that level. Start crawling under the cars. Holy autism dot mosaic. It's a bit of a tighter squeeze than I thought. Pretty tough, but I'm skinny, so it works. When I get to one end of the cars, people are starting to leave. I say fuck it and run out from under the cars over to a tree in my neighbor's lawn. I hear someone say, what the fuck was that? I run back to the beginning of the woods and look back. People are looking in my direction, mostly kids, and they look sort of shaken. They keep wondering what it was that ran past them. I run back to my house when I see one of the dads and one of the seniors, named Jake, start to walk across the street. I say to myself, what the bloody hell was that? You trying to get us killed? Night comes. I pass the time playing Modern Warfare 2. No Macmillan. I'm sad. In the woods, I see lights. It's the seniors. No, it's the ultra-nationalists. Kill Zakhaev. Throw on my ghillie suit. Run into the forest. Stalk the seniors, about ten of them, through the trails. I'm snapping a lot of twigs and shit following them. What the fuck is that? One of them says. What? It's me. I run to a safer location. Hello? Stephanie calls out. If they see me, everyone will think I'm autistic. They keep walking, and I realize I got too close to them. I say in a horrible Scottish accent, Are you daft? Say the fuck out of the radioactive areas. No, that was terrible. That was horrid. What the fuck was that? One of them says. What was that? They're seriously scared. They book it to the campsite, and I tiptoe behind them. When they get there, they set up camp. I live in the south, so one of the guys brings a gun. His date is complaining. I brought it in case that thing from Stephanie's house comes back. What if that was it earlier on our way here? Oh my god, stop! The females whisper in unison like a choir of alley cats. The guy, Dave, looks into the woods with his guns while his date starts drinking and inviting him to join her. He's got his eyes fixed on the woods. I pretend he's an ultra-nationalist who spotted me. I run for cover. I heard something, he shouts. Everyone's getting scared. Girls want to go home. The men decide to be noble and go find the fucker stalking them. I bolt. An hour later, I'm still in the nature preserve, looking for a way out. All of a sudden, I run into the guys. I pretend it's that part of all gillied up when Price and Macmillan crawl through the grass past the ultra-nationalist patrol. I go prone and try to slip past them. Instead, I lay in deer shit and get it smeared on my friend's ghillie suit, but I continue. Macmillan would have wanted it. They pass me, talking about the creature they saw. Lol, what? What did you see, Jake? It was huge, like six feet, hairy as fuck, and it was like walking like it had a limp. I do not walk like that. I do not walk like that. I should probably point out that my Macmillan impression sounds like I have a bunch of marbles in my mouth while I get deep throated by Mandingo and Danny D at the same time. I do my accent and say with all my autism, Pooch doesn't look too friendly. They freak the fuck out and I run. I heard it, that's it. I keep running and see lights. Maybe I'm home? Nope, campsite. A girl shines a light into the woods, it hits me. Macmillan would be disappointed. Hello? Say nothing, just stare. Macmillan would have shot her. What do you want, creep? A girl waves to get my attention. Pull my mask down to see if she would recognize me from school so she wouldn't get scared. 
I smile, but due to autism, I smile really wide and with my eyes wide like a deer getting ass rammed. I wave, but it's cold as fuck so I'm shaking a ton and it looks like I'm having a seizure. They scream, it's mimicking us, the thing is here, Stephanie shouts. I run again. I kept running that night, but ran into the group again. Turns out they had split up to search for the creature, but two of them, Susie and Noah, got lost. They're calling out for Susie. I like Susie, and this fits, so I shout in my Scottish accent, Oi, Susie! A guy shoots at me with his AR. Macmillan would have topped him. He is shooting wildly. Kill that fucking monster, one shouts. I run out of there while screaming loudly, Susie! Susie! Hoping they'll know I'm helping. I slip and fall into a small pit. Did you smell that? One says. I'm still splattered in deer shit. They follow my trail, and Dave reaches the edge of the pit. Found it, he cries. Then he slips and falls, hits his head on a rock. Is out cold, bleeding. I scream and bolt. I can hear the group screaming, It got Dave! They think I killed Dave. Target neutralized, I say. Eventually, I realize I've been going in circles because I end up back at the camp. I get an idea. Trash it. Throw shit around and set things on fire. Then I say, Look at this place. 50,000 people used to live in the city. Now it's a ghost town. Never seen anything like it. When the group comes back, they see their camp trashed. They left Dave in the woods for some reason. I was really cold, so I threw on some of Noah's extra clothes to keep warm. They see me. Noah, one shouts. I'm confused. Noah? <laughs> they stop. My face when I'm still using my Scottish accent. They're frozen. One girl tries to approach me. Jake pulls her back. That's not Noah anymore, he says. Noah was the class clown and had a lot of funny catchphrases. So to calm them down, I do an impression of him and say, What's swaggin? This scares them even more. Apparently, he said that right before he disappeared. What? Jake charges me. I run. Getting sick of hearing that? He catches me. I'm bigger, so I punch him and he falls. I pull him by his leg into the dark to punch him more. The group is screaming. The others are too scared to help. I beat him up while shouting Macmillan lines in a Scottish accent. It sounds like William Wallace had suddenly come out of the trees and decided to savage one of the group members. He's bloody, and I run so I won't get in trouble. The group freaks out. I stagger a lot, leaving blood all over the trees and stuff. My hand hurts from punching him a ton. I scream, more screaming from the woods. I get back home, shower, and play all gillied up for real. When I return to my friend's ghillie suit, he tells me that apparently there's a hairy monster man in the woods. I'm scared until I read the newspaper. Bloody trails all over the woods, two teens beaten and bloodied. Susie was found stuck in the mud. They never found Noah. Jake and Dave ended up in the hospital. Friends say they saw Noah attack Jake and then disappear. Say the creature was dark, hairy, smelly, ran fast, was tall and gaunt, and mimicked humans. Two years later, some Anon posts about it on Kuk Chan's B-Board. Called it a skinwalker. My face won, I was a skinwalker. Macmillan would have been proud.